Hello Dear Kinvians, Papa Kin here, and basically this is a little intro to let you know that this video is going to be a uh, little bit of a special one. I'm going to be uh, basically doing a little bit of vlogging or just a little bit of recording. There'll be some pictures here there of my first Doctor Who con <laughs> that's here in Minneapolis. So uh, yeah, hopefully this will be pretty fun, and I hope you all enjoy the video. The, the room in which he was born. So it had a lot of sort of um, stigma to it, a lot of, you know, a lot of, um, but it, it was really easy, you know, and people did that and, and, and
Yeah. Right from the TARDIS wardrobe, it's a style perfect for exploring Sherwood Forest and adventuring with Robin Hood and his merry man. From cheering at archery contests to getting thrown in the dungeon, it's a look that will make anyone believe in impossible heroes. <laughs> and clips that I showed previously. Now, just to close out the video, I did want to share some of the things that I got while I was at the convention. And I, again, apologize for uh, the coloring and everything. I'm actually recording this with my phone. And unfortunately, it is not of the greatest quality. I still have a lot of work to do here in the office. But anyway, let's get right into some of the things I picked up. Now, first of which, three of these are from a very awesome artist named uh, Chris Jones. And he uh, he's actually a Minnesota local. Very cool guy. You, de you probably saw, well, you definitely saw uh, a few pictures of him. Uh, there was one picture of me where I had, like, you know, the bright Saiyan hair <laughs> thanks to the light. Uh, and he was, like, like uh, you know, pointing or whatever. But anyway, uh, first of which, I picked up uh, issue one of a comic he's worked on called Parallel Man. I actually haven't read this yet, but I'm looking forward to it because he has uh, he shared it on Twitter quite a few times. So I'm definitely looking forward to getting into that. The second thing I got from him is a print that he made of the first Doctor, William Hartnell. It's a black and white, and it's really cool. I really... I cannot wait to get this up on the wall, uh, and especially, you know, once I get into the classic Who era, that'll be really nice to have in the background. And finally, this is one that I was really excited to get. It is... <laughs> the 10th and 11th Doctor, and he's saying, Compensating for something. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I absolutely love this print, and uh, if any of you are interested in actually, you know, getting this, um, I can either help you find out what conventions he'll be at, or see if he might be able to send these, I don't know, but I just absolutely love that print, and that's definitely the first one I'm going to be getting posted, and it will be going somewhere here on the wall, or maybe in the wall in the family room, I'm not sure yet. Alright, moving on. Uh, I picked up a few other things, including some pretty cool books that I'm looking forward to getting into. Uh, these three books are actually authored by the same person. 
and uh, two of which are done in a... Uh, they're basically plays, essentially, and I cannot wait to get into them because they'll be pretty quick reads. I'm very interested in the stories. Uh, first of which is God Save the Prez. And the basic um, idea behind this story is that, uh, well, it's the eve of the American Revolution, and teenager Zoe Hartnell is busy supporting her king when she is sent forward to a strange future where the revolutionaries have won. People sit in front of strange glowing boxes, and they and they use a president in America instead of a king. Soon Zoe is caught up in a plot by two political activists to run her for that highest office, and she is technically 200-some years old. Can Zoe win the election and restore monarchy to the United States? So yeah, that just, it seems like such a cool concept. I'm really looking forward to reading that. And the second one here uh, is called Cascade, and uh, basically from what the author told me, the the best way to describe this is that it was written um, originally. It started as a kids play, and it was very much inspired by him getting sick and uh, being awake for forty eight hours straight while on like cough cough meds and everything. So yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to get uh, getting into this one and seeing what it, it's about as well. And finally, this is the one that's obviously most appropriate for the Doctor Who convention, uh, which is called Console Room, but An Eloquence of Time and Space, an unauthorized Doctor Who 50th anniversary poem book. And there is a poem for each episode, apparently, of all the Doctor Who episodes from classic to present, uh, or at least uh, maybe it's through the 50th anniversary. Very much looking forward to this, and I might actually uh, incorporate these into some of the upcoming videos, so we'll see. All right, and next, I uh, don't have a whole lot left. Um, what else do I have here? Ah, yes, uh, I did find an artist, Cassandra Thomas, and picked up a few things from her, including this comic book. It's uh, Kila Ilo? I actually don't... Er, I actually don't know how to pronounce it, but I l absolutely love the artwork. It's a really cool style. So yeah, really looking forward to reading that. And I also picked up a few prints from her, uh, some of which, you know, some were for me and some were for Jill. But uh, this one was really cool that she did. It's, you know, obviously tin and a Dalek. Very nice there. Uh, this one was just adorable. I got it for, well, I would say I got it for Jill, but I got it for both of us because it's just, it, it's adorable. I love it. And a little case. It's so cute. And finally, this is one actually by her mother. It is a oil, well, it's originally an oil painting, but it's a print of that. And just look at this. It is absolutely gorgeous. I, I love that. That is definitely getting framed very soon. Yeah, I dropped one of the prints. Sorry. <laughs> All right, and finally, two last things that I got while I was at the console room convention, and they are autographs from Gareth... Uh, Dave, uh, Lloyd Davis, or is it Gareth David Lloyd? I, I, I can't remember exactly. <laughs> I suck at names. But anyway, I did get my Torchwood uh, Blu-ray set autographed by Gareth, the man that plays Ianto Jones, which I'm looking forward to getting into at some point. And, of course, the guest of honor uh, of the uh, console room, Mr. Colin Baker, autographed... Uh, I actually got this DVD specifically for the convention, and he autographed uh, the DVD of his first storyline, which is The Twin Dilemma. And, uh, yeah, I'll basically, instead of relying on Netflix, I will be watching this for when I eventually get around to that, whenever that happens. Now, as for the convention, um, I don't know if it came across in the pictures and the clips or not, but I had a really good time. I met some really cool people. Some interesting people, but that's pretty much anywhere you go. Uh, Colin Baker is a lovely, lovely man. Uh, Gareth was really cool. The kids who I, I, I keep forgetting their names, I, I really do apologize. But, um, yeah, they were really cool. And they, you know, they uh, uh, even though I missed their autograph and photograph sessions, like, they took a picture with me. Like, I, like a, that one picture I showed earlier in the clip, I might uh, show it here right now. But, you know, they said, oh, do you want to get a picture since you missed the session? And I was like, T sure. So they were really cool. So I, I just had a really good time. It was a lot of fun. It was great uh, going to some of the panels, getting to meet other fans of Doctor Who and science fiction in general. It was just a whole lot of fun. And I'm definitely looking forward to uh, seeing what they're going to come up with next year. Uh, this year I just attended as a regular attendee. But next year I think I may actually... Uh, 
and pay the sponsor fee because yeah I mean if it next year is as good as this year was it's definitely gonna be worth it but everyone again I hope you enjoyed um, all the clips and the pictures please let me know what you think down below uh, let me know if you've been into been to any Doctor Who conventions and uh, you know what you thought of them uh, and hopefully it's like I uh, I'll be attending some more conventions in the future I will take pictures and all that but uh, it's time for me to go to bed, actually, <laughs> and then I will be working on the next episodes of Discovering Doctor Who very soon. I have watched three episodes so far, so hopefully I'll be able to get some new episodes of DDW out to you very soon. But until then, everyone, I'm Papa Ken, and I will see you next time, Kenvians. Good night.